Moshi Moshi. You're Jamie Chan, the archaeologist? Yes, speaking. We are aware that you're available for hire to travel around the world in search of rare artifacts. Our extremely wealthy employer would like to request your service. What is it that your employer wants? The Eye of the Dragon. The one supposedly on Feilong Mountain in East Asia? That's the one. I'm sorry. That piece is supposedly found on the head of the dragon. The highest and most dangerous point on the mountain. Access to that point has been forbidden for a long time after so many casualties. I'll have to decline. Mr. Chen, we are aware of the danger involved. Our employer is willing to pay 98,000 US dollars upfront. There will be a further 910,000 if you successfully recover the Eye of the Dragon. It's a deal. The Eye of the Dragon is a legendary stone believed to contain a great source of power. There were originally ten dragon eyes scattered across South China, but nine of them disappeared after the establishment of Kowloon, Hong Kong. Many battles were fought to seize possession of the remaining stone. Each battle resulted in much bloodshed. The Taiwanese were able to secure the last Eye of the Dragon, but feared the power would be enough to corrupt its people. After many attempts to destroy the Eye of the Dragon failed, the Taiwanese placed the stone on Feilong Mountain. To deter people from attempting to retrieve the stone, it was placed on the most dangerous part of the mountain, known as the Head of the Dragon. People still try to retrieve the Eye of the Dragon, with many falling to their deaths. As the Head of the Dragon eroded away across time, and with the loss of many human lives attempting to find the stone, access to the Head of the Dragon was closed off. The Eye of the Dragon is a legendary stone believed to contain a great source of power. The power would be enough to corrupt people.